Friends, hello everyone. My name is Uche Wodo. Well, Capri Farmers um, is a reality TV show that has to do with agriculture. It's um, it's in the process. It's, it's coming out soon, and I'm one of the ambassadors that um, has been selected to sell these ideas to the youth and make agriculture more sexy you know, more interesting for the youths of Nigeria. The government, I think, um, some, so much negative light has been cast on agriculture. That is why the youths of Nigeria has refused to embrace it. But if we start to shed positive light and knowledge about agriculture and sell you know the advantages to the youth i'm sure that very soon we will not have unemployed graduates anymore so many people who come out of school with no jobs would make use of the piece of land in their family to start agriculture and start a company of their own you know empowering the country and giving jobs as well to the youth that are unemployed so i think i think that's what they need to do find ways to make it more interesting. I'm born again. I started acting uh, since um, September 2006. Yes. And um, I started it through my father who took me to Nollywood uh, headquarters in Enugu State and got me registered and that was the kickoff of my career as a professional actress. Although I've been doing it back in the day, you know, as a kid, I've always had that drama queen talent, the acting talent. So my father used to come watch me while at the farm on stage and in school. So when I finished secondary school, he felt, yeah, I needed to develop the talent more. He took me to Nollywood. No, we're not there yet. We're not. We're not there yet. But we're moving fast. I am sure you can testify to the progress so far. We are growing and we'll keep growing. Nollywood is a baby, but we are we're coming up. We'll soon get there. I do cinema movies. I don't know what you're talking about. I do cinema movies. I do everything. The movies I have actually in my stables as a producer, they're cinema movies and I've starred in lots of them. So I don't know. You haven't come to watch any of mine. <laughs> it's your problem. You should get a ticket. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I produced Riptide. It will be premiered um, anytime this year towards the end of the year in the cinema yes and I produced Stolen Val which will be premiered in um, Europe and in Nigeria so. I, um, it has a lot of backstory you know and then the um, motivation for the movies that I shoot it has a lot to do with real life events and then you cannot watch my movies and not relate to what has happened to you or to your neighbor you understand like riptide had had to do with a blind girl you know it's a family story but a blind girl that was betrayed backstabbed you know so many things were done to her but at the end of the day she triumphed because she was smart yeah and then she had grace of god and then the other one, Stolen Val, it has to do with uh, love and betrayal and love and deceit, you know. So these are events that happen in real life that you would relate to and then it teaches a lesson. I'm not about movies that just don't bring anything to the table, that you watch and then you don't learn anything. Yeah, my movies teach you to be strong. I'm a strong woman and then I bring strength to whatever I do. I, I like to empower women especially. Yeah, so. Yeah, upcoming, yeah. Um, it's, in, it's, in, it's in the 
it's in the process actually. I have a comedy story that I intend to shoot in South Africa soon, so it's, it's that one is gonna be funny. I am an artist first and foremost, so I know what it takes to be a good artist, and then I when I read scripts, I know talents that can fit into it and how I want to cast. So it's not difficult for me to cast. I cast my jobs. I don't give it to people to cast because I think I'm better George of what I really want in my project. So I know what fits what and who fits who. So. Well, uh, the challenges will still be, as an actress, my challenges will be getting roles that portray me the highest and that showcases my talents, you know, very well, as much as I would love to, getting characters that define me, really, because I believe I'm diversified and, and I am very talented and um, I can display things beyond people's imagination. <laughs> Don't mind me. And as a producer, the challenges would be finances and basically, yeah. On set, you can't catch me having a romantic uh, relationship with my colleagues. Well, no, there are different definitions to it. I don't know. <laughs> I've had acted nude before, not naked. Nude is, you know, it's what you make it. Yeah. Definitely, it is. It's even bigger. You don't want to know. I think it has to do with individuals. It's not every celebrity that is fake or portrays her image or his image as fake, filled with wealth and affluence. It's not. Some people are really, really rich and then some people are not so rich. But I think being fake has a lot to do with your personal interpretation and um, the way you choose to portray yourself. So it's not everybody. I'm not fake. I'm as real as I can be. I don't know about other people. Well, I cannot say the women are paid higher than the male are paid. It's a, um, payment is based on negotiations in Hollywood. Is um, some male artists and higher than the female artists. Some female artists and higher than the male artists. But showcasing things that you don't have I don't know <laughs> oh you have they can have them some people can have these things I mean money can buy it and if you have money you can but if you don't have money and you're showing well someday someone is gonna find out sorry <laughs> well some of them mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Some of them. I am an amazing woman that is full of love and um, full of strength. Well, it can be true if you don't know how to balance yourself. You know, in life, there's always a balance. When you find that balance, when you find that niche, you are in control, you know, it's equal. It's not always easy. Your personal life should not suffer because of your job. If you can incorporate the two and learn how to manage your time, I think you'll be okay. Yeah. Well, how do I balance it? I just go to work when I have to go to work and my child understands that mommy has to work to put food on the table. So it's not a problem. And um, yeah, 
motherhood is another different world that's why i told you i'm full of love that is where motherhood comes and then the strength comes from my job so i have the balance <laughs> My relationship at the time it just didn't work between us so there are other things that can cause the relationship to break up it wasn't my job love well yeah of course why not when I find it Okay, I'll <laughs> shag Ken Eriks. Then I don't know. I don't want to kill no one, but I'll kill Blossom. <laughs> then I'll take Aaron, what's his name again? Alex home to Mama. I want a dark handsome god. <laughs> Sexy assassin. God fearing. No, I am my own definition of fashion. I wear what I love and I think I set trends so people follow me. I don't follow nobody. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. I just, I just, I look different all the time if you can look. If you check out my pictures, you definitely see that I look different all the time because I get bored easily with fashion, with anything. With so I love to look like different people all the time. I'm sorry. I can't let go of my lipsticks. Yeah, no. My perfume. I love black. Yeah. The craziest thing a fan has done to me was kiss me on a wears. Yeah. Mm, it was embarrassing, but it was a guy, of course, but I can't fly, can I? Mm. Okay, I think I bite my lips. Sometimes and I'm, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not even aware of it. Sometimes I, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still in post production for Riptide and the final works on Stolen Vow. So, any moment from now, you'll be out. And then I'll face the new project. But won't be in this country though. I always tell you to dream as high as you can because if you can dream it, you can achieve it. If you want to be a star, see yourself as a star already and you'll be a star someday. Hello my fans, hello everyone. My name is Uche Wodo. I want you to keep watching Broadway TV channel. I love you.